Hi there and welcome back to my channel. I'm Aki07 and you're watching the next episode of a Scrap Mechanic. So, as you can see here in front of me, I have a huge, huge computer. I have finished it. Yeah, I added Mantor, which I already posted on the Facebook, but what you didn't saw is this mouse and keyboard. And let me actually start with the mouse and then I will go to the uh, monitor and there's something new in the computer as well. So let's start with the mouse and I'll start with the bottom because there's something really cool at the bottom. And I guess you can't see but I will just flip it. So you can see here is the red light. No, not this one. I guess I can't reach it. Oh, now I can add this infrared light for the mouse so it's can tracking and here is this one red because usually the mouse has this glass piece which shines red when the light this one is red as well and here's of course scroll wheel which kind of goes through the bottom but I had to make like that so the top part looks correct and inside this is actually a plain wheel and it's a great line I just added so it's not one big block and <laughs> original it was all in this great tone looking like a, some old IBM mouse from Matis. So yeah, this is the mouse and here is the keyboard which is next to this huge huge monitor. But let's wait for monitor. Let me show the keyboard because it's actually also working. So here's all the keys and the bad part is that I couldn't make it any closer because this piece which I used for buttons, if I put it next to where did I put it? <laughs> I didn't put it at all. Okay, this one. Let's see if I put it here on the ground. It's just one seamless uh, button and it doesn't have any pauses. And I didn't have any other which, which to put closer and have gaps. Unless I make like a big, big button. So this one and this one inside. So it looks like button. So. I decided to go like this and it actually looks pretty decent. I even added this this leak. As you can see here is three lights which actually works so right now there is caps lock enabled. This was num lock if I enable num lock num lock goes on and this was screw lock so somewhere here should be key. So you can see when I turn on the scroll lock and the num lock and the caps lock is under here and it goes up middle is for the uh, caps lock so you can see under here is a button it is this one paddle latch switch from the MGM mode and it's strange that when I put this piece over I kind of still can reach this button and it actually works so let me paint it back black so it's like all other and here of course is the escape and nine and all F keys, including print screen. Here was the delete key, home, and page up, page down. This is the arrow keys, and this is the numpad. It actually looks really, really cool. So now I can decide do I want to start with the. Look how cool the sunlight hits the monitor, looks like it's matted. Yeah, this, this surface is actually totally black. So actually let me start with the computer and then I will go with the uh, monitor because I want to show monitor a little bit uh, deeper and closer. So someone in the comment write that he was expecting to see a working CD room and actually after I'm reading this comment I decided to actually make it so. Actually I need to go a little bit closer here so I can reach the button. So and now my awesome awesome case have this CD room here and when you press this button here let me just get off the inventory so I have clean and when you press this button CD room comes out and when you press again can I reach it I hope I don't fall off yeah and when you press again it goes back in and actually I'm not sure how I could get in quick but let me just open up this one yeah leave it to the end of the video so one see or wait or just uh, scroll to the end of the video and I'll show how this mechanism works. Also those who's watching this for the first time check out my previous videos where I built this, this cool cool 
looking computer with GeForce 980 video card and it's working as you can see. And also motherboard and then this cooler master case. And also you can open up this CD room with this button. It should open, yeah. Okay, let me start with the monitor, which actually is really cool as well. Yeah, based it on the BenQ E2220 HD uh, monitor, but it turned out just to be some generic monitor. So at the back here is the on off switch, which I'll show a little bit later because there's something cool on the screen, which actually works, yeah. <laughs> if you wondered if it works, yeah, it works. Though the picture is not finished because I can't make any pixel art on this because uh, these blocks, which is not building blocks, here these blocks works like like with my uh, picture converter. But these uh, other blocks, which have some controllers, they actually well they work. But this time I would use to make a script which converts uh, images to uh, this format. It will take longer than me just paint pixel by pixel. So I decided just to paint, but not finished, so you will, you will see. So, and here is the buttons to, uh, to the menu, volume, and then some settings like all computers have, monitors have. So at the back, there's nothing much, just the, this is the uh, USB hub input. Yeah, because I have this menu monitor, and at the back you can plug in USB uh, plug, and then you have two USB here at the back and two here at the side. As you can see at the side you can also plug in earphones and a microphone. So and this is this was supposed to be, be HDMI cable in but, but I kinda didn't finish it or I don't remember why I didn't make two or something because I have like a two or three HDMI inputs and, and a VJ input. And here somewhere should be a power input which I also didn't make because well, I won't use a cable and this isn't like a real monitor, if I would make like a one-to-one -one, then I would make like a power input and so on. But yeah, this bottom grid part, I'll put picture here on the screen as you can see. Here is this grid part and at the end there's turn uh, on-off switch. And let me show this side before I'm turning it on, because it kind of cows like and the volume it suddenly happens. Okay, so as you can see here on the side is the USB ports and I will show this a little bit closer but when I turn it on because right now it's attached to the ground and I can't move. Yeah, these both parts are attached because this uh, computer mouse and keyboard can stand on its own, not attached to anything. But once I detach this monitor to something, it just causes unbelievable lags and can crush the game. Yeah, all these things will be on the Steam Workshop after I release this video, so you can download and check it out. So, but now, let me turn it on. And it's on. You can see it's working. It's fully working monitor. Yeah, it's supposed to be Windows XP starting menu. Here's the start and blue line. And I wanted to make this bliss screen uh, desktop picture, but just too many pixels because. It looks like this screen is one pixel, but let me actually show. Yeah, let me actually show you this one. So you can see, there's so many, so many pixels. There is over like a, over 2000 pixels in this uh, monitor. You can see here's the keyboard also, so have some uh, wiring. So, and here is the monitor. And yeah, it's all used by this one switch, and it was actually really, really hard to make this one because. I had to actually achieve kind and edit that uh, JSON file, blueprint JSON file, and attach it all these uh, controllers now, all these touchbot heads to be controlled by this switch. As you can see here is some icons as well. Yeah, I really tried to make some kind of uh, icons, but then I just decided to make colored. And let me show these pixels how small they actually are. So this was this color. As you can see, they look quite big, but here, this, this is how small the pixel actually is. And you can see the sound actually already messing up, and sometimes the game just freezes, so 
fast, my voice starts lag or something. You know that the game freezes and I'll start video a bit later again. And yeah, because you can see here that the sound actually duplicating like a video. Yeah, this is how small pixels are. And actually, I can't make any artwork anymore. I will need to redo this whole screen and then attach back the button. I don't want to do it. Alright, and last thing what I want to show is how this uh, this CD room works. So let me get on top of it and open it up so I know how high I need to build. And let's just be. Oh, I can make that side. I didn't knew that. I'm hitting something. Alright, and stop it like so I can make this platform which I can jump on to show. Oh! What the hell? Oh, I know. <laughs> I detached the last piece which is holding it. Yeah, and as you can see, I tried another sky map, but it doesn't look so great. Yeah, I change the textures quite often. So I don't get bored at least. And I have such a huge builds. It's more interesting to change these textures. So each time it feels like you're in a new game. So here is the CD room. And here's simple uh, uh, gate. Logic gate and controller. It just pulls back in and out. And here at the top is just the wheel. So it looks like there's this spinning motors and so on. So let me close this one. And it goes in. Error, error. <laughs> and yeah, and here's two non. Can't remember? No, it doesn't control anything. And again, when you press down, it's open up and close it down. Yeah, I think it actually works really cool. And I thought I just made this flat. Then I, actually, I had to check on the internet how CD ROM looks like from the inside because. I can't use mine in a while and it doesn't work anymore, yeah. Which is kinda strange to think that I can't use CD room and I don't need to use it and I don't feel like I'm missing out something. So yeah, this is how the CD room works. Thank you for the one who suggested it. I'll put your name here on the screen. So thank you, just suggest this one to make because it actually turned out really, really cool and it really finish up the computer build. So yeah, I, with this video I also ending this computer series. So yeah, if you have some suggestions what kind of series or what should I make next, write in the comments and I, or I'll try to uh, make some kind of series because I really enjoyed this series more than just single builds. Alright, I guess that's all for this episode. What is this black part? What the hell is this? It moves. Oh, oh. It's, in, it's in the picture. <laughs> it's a bird in the picture. Yeah, thank you for watching. Leave a like if you like this. Subscribe to see more Scrap Mechanic and I will see you in the next one. Bye.